Welcome back. If you're looking for a good book to get you through these cold winter days, our friend, author Luann Rice, has one for you. Her new novel, Last Night, was released earlier this month. It is certainly a page turner. Luann is back here in Studio A to tell us about it. To get through these cold days, it's a book about a blizzard. Could you do any better than that? I planned it that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, it came out uh, just a few weeks ago. Um, you know, tons of people talking about it. I read it. It's fantastic. Thank you. Tell us about your inspiration, because as much as there are familiar characters, if people have read Last Day and Shadowbox, they're going to recognize a lot of the characters here. But the Ocean House, which is a special place for you, is also a main character. Tell us about this book. It is. Thank you. It is, it is a special place to me. And as you know, I set most of my novels in Connecticut. And this one is really just over the border in Rhode Island at the Ocean House in Watch Hill, which is a place that was really special to me and my sisters when we were little um, and has become very special to me as a writer. I go there, um, check in, go as, to a special little room high up in the hotel, uh, sequester myself and write. And while I was there at one point, I thought, you know, Every grand hotel deserves a murder mystery. And so I came upon a character who inspired me, and I imagined a blizzard, and it started from there. And it's really a blizzard, a murder, and a missing child. Well, coming off a week uh, where we just had a big snowstorm, not quite the blizzard, but a big <laughs> snowstorm, it's the kind of book where if you're a New Englander and you know a lot of these places, whether you've ever stepped foot in the Ocean House or you know of it or you picture that iconic yellow building, the it's all going to seem like something familiar to you. Is that part of your goal? I think so, yeah. Like, it was sort of conjuring up the blizzards of childhood. You know, we, even if you didn't grow up in a time when it was really heavy snow like I did, when you think back to weather when you were a kid, it's always more extreme. You know, and so I was thinking back to that kind of weather where you couldn't see, you know, two feet in front of your face. Um, and just, it's so, it's kind of romantic and I think really... Uh, you know, kind of scary to be completely isolated in a blizzard in a place that isn't your home and you kind of don't know who might have killed the person. And uh, some familiar characters uh, in your previous books, Connor Reed, who's a Connecticut State Police detective, he is at the hotel when all this happens, so he becomes a, an integral character in this. Uh, his brother, who's a Coast Guard uh, commander? Commander. Uh, it, Tom Reed, he, uh, he is a character as well. Uh, Kate Woodward, who uh, was a main character in your earlier books, comes back and reprises her role. So is it taking familiar people and putting them in a different place in a different situation so the readers can kind of continue that story? Well, I'm a huge fan of certain... Uh, now, this is not a series precisely, but I'm a fan of detective series, so where you get to know a detective and you kind of get to know how he works, and then he comes back in another book. So I don't leave a cliffhanger from my other novels, but I really like Connor Reed as a detective, and he is inspired by a real-life Connecticut police officer who helped me create him. Uh, so I feel like he's familiar to me and to my readers. He's in... He's at the Ocean House, and it's not giving too much away to propose to his girlfriend, Kate Woodward. Um, and then, you know, he's, a, he's in a different jurisdiction. You know, he's a Connecticut uh, policeman. He can't solve a crime in Rhode Island. But certain things happen that make it that he can consult, and he's actually almost a witness to it. And his brother, being a Coast Guard commander, it's, it's like they're the crime-solving Reed brothers almost accidentally, you know, because a uh, Coast Guard guy is not necessarily an officer of, uh, you know, the court. <laughs> right. It sort of, I, I almost wanted to interrupt you. You said he can't solve a crime in another jurisdiction because I think I was supposed to turn into the camera and say, or can he? <laughs> right? Or he can. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, I want to ask you about the creative process because it's so interesting to me because it's just not how my brain works. And you talked about sequestering yourself in the room and, and, and writing this. And I wondered, is it that you say, I'm ready to write another book, let me think of something? I, I, and I heard this line on the radio. It's a Zach Brown band, the country song it's, uh, singer. He says, I believe that I was born with a song inside of me. I never question why I keep singing the melody. Mm -hmm. Are these stories in here? And it's, you just let them out? I love that quote. Very much so. I mean, it, the character has to come to me in an almost mystical way for the novel to start. But once I start writing, the concerns of the character and the, the, the trajectory of the story is something that's really inside me that needs to get said. You know, and I sometimes think about writers as we're like tigers with a thorn in our paws. Like, there's something that you're always working at that's, you know, you're not quite getting to. Um, and even with thrillers, you know, certainly with a more 
biographical novels that's the case, but I guess my thrillers bring a lot of myself to them. Now, we've been doing uh, segments together for a couple of years now, and uh, earlier, I guess it was last fall, I said to you, I was embarrassed I hadn't read uh, your books. So I've, in the last six months or so, I've read Last Day, Shadowbox, and now Last Night. And I, I decided I would uh, tell you what I believe to be five rules of life according to Luann, Luann Rice. <laughs> and let's see if I got them right. Let's see if I learned what I was supposed to. Rule number one, adultery is bad. Agreed. For sure. And all those books, adultery is bad. Art is good. And we talked about the local connections. Woodward, uh, Kate Woodward, is the owner of the Woodward Gallery, which is based on the Cooley Gallery in Old Lyme. So people may have that local connection. That's right. There's another one, uh, always trust your intuition. And I, all your characters, they get that tingling in their spine or the hair on the back of their neck, and they say something's happening. Is that a, a, a Luann Rice belief as well? A gut feeling is always to be followed. And you talked about uh, your connection at the Ocean House with your siblings. Um, they all have strong sibling connections, almost telepathically in some cases. Well, my very first young adult novel was called The Secret Language of Sisters for a reason. And <laughs> <'Cause> it's, <laughs> it's clear that there, you believe there is one. And just the last of the rules was the kids always know. In all three books, there's a kid who maybe the adults don't think they know what's going on. And they do. I love that you say that. I hadn't thought of it, but it's really true, because I feel like we're so wise when we're little, and then we learn to untrust ourselves. So, yeah. And, and so those, those are sort of th themes that I saw in reading all of them. They're all wonderful. If you're looking for something to read, uh -huh. all three of them in a row. Uh, so what's next? Are we going to see Connor Reed? Are we going to see Kate Woodward? Are they coming back to do something else? They're coming back, and be before they come back, I'm having a, sh a young adult novel come out in the fall. It's called If Anything Happens to Me. It's from Scholastic. Um, and so that, that'll be fun and exciting. And we can add that to our book club. <laughs> and, um, but yes, after that, my next thriller is also will, will um, include our, our friends from this one. And are we going to be set back in, in familiar territory? Oh, yes, of course. All right, Black well, Hall and Hubbard's Point. <laughs> that's a, and as someone who lives in, in real old Lyme, fictional Black Hall, I loved reading it and seeing the references and trying to figure out where you were going with some of the different places. So uh, bravo, another job well done. Hopefully people will go out and get it, and we'll have you back to do Eric and Luann's uh, Summer Reading Book Club again uh, before the weather gets warm. Thank you, Eric, my favorite. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for coming on. Thank again, you. Luann's book is called Last Night. You see the picture of the Ocean House there on the cover. You can find it at your favorite bookstore.